thank you. Uh, I really appreciate the opportunity that I've got here to welcome everybody to the, to this conference. Uh, I hope that it will be a fantastic uh, learning curve for all of us. Uh, we've gone through difficult times. One must remain positive. We certainly are. The way things have gone for us at Crossways the last year was amazing. It seems like COVID has almost done us a favor in the sense that a lot of people are looking for a rural living, social distancing, uh, good schools, security, but living free uh, with a lot of open air activities. And after five or 10 years, I think it's, it seems like we're going on the right track with what we're offering. I think there's a recipe, unbeknown to myself, who started this whole concept of farm villages or rural development 10, 12 years ago. I'm fascinated, not fascinated, passionate about the rural South Africa. I'm passionate about the country. 40%, almost 40% of the people in this country lives in rural South Africa. And I wanted to do something in rural South Africa. Uh, and I wanted to show everybody that private initiative, private developers with a community or several communities together can take some of these po impoverished villages we've got all along the Cape Province and the Western Cape and now the Eastern and the Western Cape and North Cape. There's a lot of villages, there's a lot of opportunities there. And that's what I've done. And that's what we've done at Crossways and we're very happy at the moment. It's going well. We've got an airstrip approved all of a sudden that made a big difference uh, we've got small houses big houses 30 40 percent of our stands here are smaller than the rvb stand but it's it's the the, the 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 design of these stands and the way it's been done i like years apart and i really think this conference could help quite a lot if we can explore opportunities together think what's available what can come up and what what we should do and what we can do it's not only uh, rural new towns like crossways or farm villages like crossways but there's a lot of other opportunities even tribal chiefs came to me and says so oh, can you do a tribal village for me or a rural new town for me 40 percent of our people live in rural south africa outside the urban edges outside and so for some reason or other, the municipalities and the provinces are oh, you're outside the urban edge, you can't develop outside the urban edge. Why not? The rest of the world developed like this. It developed with little hamlets and then little villages and a couple of villages later morphed into a town and a couple of towns morphed into a city. It doesn't matter whether it's in China, in America, in Europe, in India, in South America, the pattern is exactly the same. And that's what, but that's what spurred me and prompted me to start rural development, achievable, feasible, sustainable rural development. And I'd really like to see what this conference is leading to, and and I'd like to participate. And I'm really thankful for you having me invited here to host this conference. And on behalf of Crossways Farm Village, uh, it is a rural new town. It is something that we have to start. I tried it three times in the Western Cape over the 10, past 10 years, but my nose bloodied all the time. And then I went to the Eastern Cape and they said, yes, you can do it, but you've got to do your own water, own sewer, own power, own roads. We can't supply you with any bulk services. And I took up the challenge. And, it's, and then I've learned such a lot at my age. <laughs> I've learned a lot still, you know. I'm going to give it my best shot and I hope the panel agrees with me. If they don't agree, it doesn't matter, you know, uh, we're trying our best. We're open for, for change. We, it's an inclusive village. It's an inclusive community. It's not an exclusive community. I said right from the start when we started this, with 30, 40% of our stands smaller than an RDP stand, but come and look at it. Come and look at it. But bicycle paths, walkways, car roadways and pathways for the camps. You know, if I can be helpful in, in getting rural South Africa on the go, I will, I will achieve my mission, achieve my dreams. I'm going to spend the rest of my working life building this place. Thiessen Island, which we developed. Thiessen Island took me seven years to approve. 
I had seven years of fighting to get it approval. We built and sold 605 houses in less than seven years, creating enduring value. The prices on Thiessen Island almost doubles every four years. That's enduring value. You've got to be investing in a place where the value grows, where the property value goes up, where there's increase, there's a demand for sales, where there's good letabilities, and good rental income, and, and, and then enduring value looks after itself. I'll elaborate later on the conference on what I think enduring value is and what it should be. But I'm totally committed to enduring value. And, and in my whole lifetime for 40 years, I've been busy hopefully creating better places for people to live. And uh, with that, I thank you very much for the opportunity. I thank you for inviting me. Yeah, we've been happy to participate and I really look forward to for the conference.